So, I know you said it wasn't a thing, but that bank notice... You're fixating, which normally I applaud, but not about this. I mean, you'd tell us if we were in danger of losing our jobs, right? It's television. Everyone is always in danger of losing their jobs. Sure, but... It's fine. Erin, please. I've squared it all with the network. We're still working on this final episode, and they're paying your salary, not me. Well, but... You have to let this go. We're fine, Erin, OK?
Hey, Charlie. I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. I... I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... An assistant? A personal assistant? Sort of. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget and big stars. Erin, there's something important that you have to understand. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth is the star. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? <laughs>